I want to say rest in peace to the rapper Trouble. He was killed a couple of weeks ago by some lame ass scent who caught him slipping at some chick's house. Word on the street was Trouble was asleep when dude slipped in and got at him. Now, what do I tell you guys in all of my videos? What's one of my main player rules is to never spend the night with a bitch at her house or yours for that matter. If you just got to be snuggled up and cuddled up with the chick, that's what a hotel is for, brother. And I keep reading these comments on these sites like World Star and Wrap Up that men should stop blaming the girl for what happened. It's not her fault that her ex was crazy. And who are the ones leaving these comments? Dumbass broads. Emotional creatures as they are. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Men, stop listening to what women have to say because what they say makes no damn sense. Now, of course, the chick trouble was laid up with isn't responsible for what her ex-boyfriend did. But what she was responsible for was to inform trouble of what he was dealing with. And I don't want to hear that she probably did because if she did, trouble wouldn't have been sleeping like Rip Van Winkle in her spot. Dude was a real one. He knew how to maneuver in these streets. So yeah, that one is on her. What's also on her was to stop all communications with that cat she was dealing with. Women love to still communicate with their exes. Hell, some even still sleep with their exes on and off while they're starting a new relationship. Not saying that she did that, but I will put money on it that she probably still was laying up with that dude. I remember when I was younger, maybe around 17, my cousin Kev and I was over these chicks' house. These chicks lived on the other side of town, which didn't like our side of town. But being young and dumb and full of cum, we went to see them anyway. Shit was cool until we decided to take a walk through their neighborhood park. My cousin was booed up with his chick and I was macking on mine. All of a sudden, this black Camaro pulled up and all I heard was this deep voice screaming, Maria, Maria, get over here. She looked at me trembling, said I'll be back. Me being young and dumb and full of cum, grabbed her hand and told her she wasn't going anywhere. And the fuck who was ever in that car? All of a sudden, this guy stepped out of the car. He was at least seven feet tall and looked just like Shaquille O'Neal. I kid you not. He started to head towards us. I pulled my shirt up and showed him what was in my waistband. Seven feet tall or not, he stopped dead in his tracks, pointed at me and said, I'll be back. He then got in his car and sped off. Yeah, you damn right I was packing heat. I said I was young and dumb, not young and stupid, brethren. As we walked back to her crib, Maria kept saying, you shouldn't have did that. He'll be back. He's crazy. I didn't care because if he came back, I was going to show him how crazy I was. We got back to her house and her mother was on the porch. When Maria told her what happened, she informed us that the guy name was Barry, not Shaq. That was a joke. And that he was Maria's ex-boyfriend. Now, I'm not going to talk about the fact that Maria was like 16 and Barry looked every bit of 27. Anyway. Her mother told us that we had to leave and that she was calling the police because she didn't want any trouble. Luckily, when Kevin and I made it to the bus stop, our bus was just pulling up. So we didn't have to see what was going to happen if Barry pulled back up on us. I later learned that Maria had still been sleeping with Barry and hanging out with him while me and her were talking and trying to get to know each other. Luckily, my situation didn't end up like troubles, but it could have. So when I tell you guys to not get comfortable with these chicks and to not be all snuggled up with them, I'm telling you that for a reason. Learn from my mistakes. Take situations like what happened to Trouble as a warning call. Anyway, let me know below if you've been in any type of situations like this with a chick. I'm interested in to hear what you guys got to say. And if you haven't already, download my free ebook, Seven Ways to Attract Women. After you download the ebook, you'll be put on my list and you'll be first to be informed when my new program, Players University, drops. I know I've been talking about this program for a while, but it takes time to tweak out all the little niches and little bugs in it. But it's getting there, fellas. It's getting there. I promise you, brother, and it'll be dropping soon. Anyway, I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. And until the next time, play on, players.